You can only create what you can imagine. Oh. Okay, we are here at the um, Mobile World Congress in Barcelona, and next to me there is Katie and Wall. And uh, I would like to know what are your key topics you saw in your couple of days here? What uh, what are the trends you picked up? Well, I think the big, uh, obviously the big trend here, in addition to the economy, you always have to think about the economy. Yes. And all these people are suffering, or their, their, their companies are suffering. Uh, but I think the big trend is software, software, software. Consumer uh, ability to change the software in their mobile devices, applications, and not only on things that are scale and the cost of the Android phone or the iPhone or the Blackberries, but trying to bring this down to uh, the level of the average phone. And we see a lot of activity uh, in, in that vein. Okay. Yeah, and a lot of software on these phones that looks like the iPhone, you know, whether it's the exact same layout with the icons that can move around or, mm -hmm. you know, something that's trying to give you options to buy apps at a store, I think. Uh, Okay. So, but was there something which really catched your eye and said, that's something interesting, you probably thought about it uh, during the night and kept you up or something like that? Uh, there's was nothing that's kept me up at night, but there's a, I mean, yeah, we've seen two or three things we think are very interesting, but they're not the things that are being displayed on the show floor, they're the things that people are showing in the private meetings. And okay. So we can't talk about One it thing that was interesting we just saw this morning was that IMQ phone, the Facebook phone. That oh yeah, that's right. Facebook under okay. your, that um, one very cheap cell phone. And, uh, so what it is, it's, it's, it's a, a Facebook? It's a very low price cell phone okay. where these guys, uh, it's a subsidiary of Hutchins and Wampoa and they basically are going to make this phone uh, that uh, is very inexpensive. Uh, that has built into it social network. So there's a Facebook app built into it, there's a uh, Skype app built into it, uh, a Windows uh, Messenger app uh, built into it, and they'll add some other modules like that. And it won't be, it, it isn't quite as customizable as, say, uh, a Blackberry or an iPhone or something like that, but it's uh, trying to bring some of that experience to people who are who are just buying a basic feature phone. And one of the other nice things about it was that they had a way to um, allow you to use some of these apps when you're in a place where you don't have service, like if you're on the subway or something. Okay. So that was an interesting product. But most of what we saw that we thought was really interesting is not quite ready to be displayed yet. Okay. But uh, this phone is like a cloud computing mobile a device bit, yeah. or a little bit. It caches information for you so okay. that you can access it. And, uh, you know, as you would on your BlackBerry, say, if you can't, uh, if you're underground on the metro or something like that and you can't uh, respond to emails and send them right away, you can at least type out the email and they'll send after you get above ground. This does that same thing with Facebook or other applications, and social networking applications. So okay. that's useful. Okay. Yeah. That's great. Okay. Very interesting to talk to you. Thank you. And enjoy the Congress. You yeah. too. All right. Bye. Bye. Join the conversation at mocom2020.com.